Good morning all. Um, I realised that the reason that we didn't have any sound yesterday was because I had the mic muted. So at least that was an easy thing to uh, fix. <laughs> um, bury me. Happy May the 1st. It's my favourite month. Hopefully the weather is gets better now that it's May. Um, we're going to do some more pie chart work today. Um, we're going to do transport pie charts. So let's see how it goes. Megan watched the road outside her house for an hour and made a note of the different types of vehicles she saw. She saw 120 vehicles altogether. Now, you didn't hear me when I was explaining things yesterday, but the whole pie is 100%. So 100% of this pie is equal to 120 vehicles. So the whole pie is 100%. I, am, I really hope that this makes so much more sense today than it did yesterday. So, vehicle seen in one hour. Green, this is the key down here. So green represents car. Pink or red, however that comes up, is bike. Purple is lorry. Blue is van. And orange is the motorbike. She constructed a pie chart to show her results. Little car there. What proportion of the vehicles that Megan saw were cars? So for this, we need to find the car, which is green. So it says proportion. So that is half of the pie. So that means that half of the vehicles she saw were cars, or 50%. Oh, it asks, sorry. Spoilers! Half is equivalent to 50%, so the proportion of the vehicles was 50%. It's not actually half of the total of the amount. When it asks for proportion, it asks for the percentage of the pie rather than the total that that is equal to. So what proportion of the vehicles that Megan saw were lorries? So have a look for lorry. And although it's at a jaunty angle, you may see that it is the same as one quarter of the vehicles she saw were lorries. So can you express this as a percentage? One quarter is equivalent to 25%. 25% of the vehicles were lorries. So this goes back as well to pie charts bring in everything from our maths toolbox in our brain, really. We've got fractions, we've got percentages, we've got circles that we did a couple of weeks ago. Um, they're very nice charts. I like using pie charts. I know that Hanska does too, as she said on Frog today. Um, we saw that Megan saw 120 vehicles altogether. Using the percentages we have found, so 50% and 25%, can you find out exactly how many cars and how many lorries Megan saw? So 50% is the same as a half. So we need to find for the cars, half of 120 first, because we need to say how many cars and how many lorries. So what is half? of 120. It's 60. Good. So from that you can easily find a quarter because a quarter is a half of a half. So you have to divide 60 by 2 which is 30. So there are 30 lorries that she saw and now she's going to explain what I've just explained. There we go. Megan saw 12 vans and 12 motorbikes. So what percentage of 120 is 12? Oh, now this is something else from our maths toolbox. If you need to use a place value chart, maybe that'll give you a hint. But we are dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000. But not 1,000. Think about it. Yep, we've divided by 10. So 12 is 10% 10 of 120. We now need to work out how many bicycles Megan saw. So can you use the data we've already worked out to find out how many bicycles she saw? How much was a quarter? It was 30. Now, if these two, will it go back? If these two were 12, so that's 12, 24, and what's left over is this slice. How much is left over to make 30? So you could do it of everything and find out the little bit. Um, or you could have added up all the percentages and then taken it away from 100% and then find that percentage. I did it a little bit of a cheaty shortcut way. But I'm sure you've got other different ways that you've used as well. 
So Megan saw six bikes. Car colours pie chart. One rainy afternoon, Anisha carried out a survey to find out how many different coloured cars drove past her house. Hey, that's a really good idea. You could try that if you've got a big road going past. You could stare outside your window for an hour and see, do this exact same kind of survey. Um, so she saw red, blue, silver, black and green. She created a pie chart to show the results. So remember, this is 100%. It hasn't told us how many she saw together for it yet, though. Uh, a pie chart is a good way of comparing the values of categor categorical data or discrete data. The complete circle of a pie chart always represents the total value of all the categories. So how many was there of the sample to begin with? Each sector shows the proportional value of each category. So how many of the total were that particular category. Looking at the proportional sizes of the sectors in this pie chart, answer the following questions. So you don't need to know the total amount of cars she's seen. You only need to think about the proportional size. Which car colour drove past my house the most? So you need to have a look at this and which is the, which has the most colour, which is the most colour on it? It's the biggest slice of the pie, if you like. I always relate things back to food, I'm sorry. So red is the biggest sector, so red was the one that drove past the most. Looking at the proportional size of the sectors in this pie chart, answer the following questions. Did more blue cars or green cars drive past my house? So you just look at the blue and the green, and which one's the biggest? Yep, it's green. Did fewer black cars or silver cars drive past my house? So have a look at the question, be very careful. You're looking for the smallest segment this time. So it's silver. Anisha adds data labels to each sector of the pie chart to give more information about their values. So she's very precise percentages. Oh, and then we've got 24 cars. We can do a lot with this information now. So, there's the, this is the only sector where the value is labelled. We are told that 24 black cars drove past Anisha's house. What proportion of the chart is the black cars? Even though it's on a different angle, have a look. Let's see where the half is. So a quarter, 25% equals 24 cars. <clears throat> Um, we can use this to calculate the values of all the sectors and to calculate how many cars drove past Nisha's house in total. So the first thing we can do, like I said, is a quarter. So 24 cars equals one quarter of the whole amount. Or you can add them all up and do that. We'll be on that though, aren't we, year six? So it obviously you can check that as well. <clears throat> we know now two pieces of information about the black car sector. 24 cars equals 25%. So you can use that information to calculate the total number of cars in the pie chart by using multiplication. How many quarters make up a whole? Yep, four. So we need to multiply 24 by four to get the total amount. So 96 cars altogether. So now that we know that 100% of the pie chart represents 96 cars, we can calculate 10% and 1% of the pie chart's value. And pause me now, and then I want you to do it before I show the answers by yourselves. Um, and then you could pretend to show me the answers on your whiteboards. So pause me now. So 100% equals 96 cars, 10% equals 9.6 cars, and 1% equals 0.96 cars. We can use this information to calculate the values of the other sectors. So if you haven't done it already, pause me and work that out now. Red cars equals 33%, so that's 1% times 33, so that's 0.96 cars. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can use a calculator for this, I don't mind. Why not? 
So there are 31.68 red cars. Obviously that isn't, you, you know, you can't have 0.68 of a car, so you need to round the answer. Well, you could have 0.6 of a car, I suppose, if the car uh, hasn't got any wheels and it's being pushed along. I don't know, anything could happen. So, red cars, there are 32 cars altogether because 0.6 rounds up to the nearest whole. And so we carry on. Blue cars equals 8%, so it's 1% times 8. So then that's rounded up. So there are 8 blue cars. Silver green cars, silver and green are the same amount. So you, once you've worked one out, you've got the other. So that's 16 cars each. Now we found how many of each car colour in each are saw, we can check that all the values add up to the total of the pie chart, which is 96. So that's how you check your answers. Ta da! Well done if you got that. Well done if you didn't. You can always go back and check your answers through again, um, see where you may have gone wrong, find your mistakes. If you do find a mistake or you've learnt something, remember to share it on the frog page with us. Um, we still like celebrating them. So well done. You successfully calculated how many of each colour car drove past my house and how many cars this was all together. Well done. So here's another question you can do by yourselves. You've got to find out how many cars drove past grandma's house all together. I'm just going to click through this one so pause it now to work it out. Um, and then I'll click really quickly to get through because this video is getting quite long. Oh, that was too quick then. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, next question. This is what she believes. Is Hazel right? Discuss your reasoning with your partner, your person in your house, with your book. Have a look. Pause, check, and then... Prove it and then play again. So now you've got your own to work through. Uh, you've got your one star, your two star and your three star. Enjoy. Here is another question, an extra challenge question. I've always got something up my sleeve. Lots of clicking, sorry. Okay, that's the end of that, and that's the end of statistics for now, um, and the end of my videos for now. We'll be using White Rose videos next week to see how we get on with those. I know a lot of other class year groups are using them, and they're really enjoying them. So you'll find the videos um, on the link on the frog page at the top, and then you'll find all the resources that you need underneath, so the, uh, the question sheets that they've provided, but the videos... Um, are found on the a separate on the separate website. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these. I'll be doing videos now and again just so you can still hear my voice. Probably still talking about food and all sorts. But yeah, um, enjoy.